in this session let's understand the tracing and auditing related shortcuts when we say tracing what do we mean whenever you are calculating something and your calculation as time progresses or as you move deeper into an assignment your calculation may add a lot of worksheets to your workbook and uh, you may have a lot of links in your entire workbook many a times to quickly understand what is happening and how the calculations are connected you need to walk through the numbers very quickly and these are the shortcuts which will allow you to do that very very quickly so for example let's look at auditing and i am now going to open a detailed calculation for our analysis and understanding now you can note that control and open bracket is our first shortcut in this case which is a combination of keys it allows you to select all the cells which are direct precedents of a cell when we say precedents they are drivers of a particular cell let me show you by an example if you have some numbers on a worksheet and i am simply adding all of these numbers control and open bracket will actually select all the cells which are direct precedents of a number on that worksheet if there are some numbers which are coming from another worksheet then they won't be captured in this case unless that cell is the first cell meaning if i have something coming from another worksheet so let's say it is something like this now control and open bracket will actually take me to this first precedent cell and now you can note that i am already on that cell i am going back to my calculation so control and open bracket in case of a single worksheet calculation selects the direct precedent cells if you have a calculation where you have linked some numbers from other sheets to this sheet then control and open bracket will take you to the first precedent cell even if it is coming from other sheets however it does not work where you have added another reference to different sheet but that is not the first reference so for example now i am adding another reference and you can note that using control and open bracket i always reach this cell not the cell which is below but linked here so i cannot go to cell c10 in sheet 2 using control open bracket that's a limitation of control open bracket like control open bracket which points you to the direct precedent cells in case of a single sheet calculation we are going back to the single sheet calculation control open bracket control close bracket points out to all the dependents on the cell which are direct dependent so for example to cell d6 the direct dependent is 68 and you can note that it points me out to cell 68 in this case to cell d14 in this case let's say there is one more formula which links cell d6 now you can note that control and the down key will end up selecting both of these cells that is cell d14 as well as cell f14 so control open bracket directly traces the precedent cells the direct precedent cells on that sheet similarly control close bracket traces the direct dependents on that sheet you remember sometimes we want to delete a particular row or delete a particular calculation but we are worried if there is any cell which is dependent on this cell control and closing bracket actually solves this problem and allows you to find out if there are any cells dependent on this cell but on that particular worksheet if there are any cells which are dependent on some other sheet then this does not work
so that's about control open bracket and control close bracket when we say bracket we are talking about the square bracket now if you have linked some numbers from some other sheet now let's say we have linked sheet c9 here now i am using control and open square bracket and it takes me to cell c9 i want to go back to the cell where i started from so I'm pressing F5 which allows me to go to and you can note that the last cell from where I had started is noted here. I press enter and I'm back to where I started from. So control open bracket and F5 and enter are used in combination many a times. We were looking at control and open square bracket sometime back. If you add shift to this what it does it it traces the direct as well as indirect precedent cells so if you have something like this a calculation something like this now this calculation is dependent on these two cells but it is also indirectly dependent on these three cells because this cell is dependent on these three cells so control shift and the open square bracket actually selects all of these cells and you can note that all these five cells drive this particular cell so control shift and open bracket selects all the precedents direct or indirect on that sheet for a particular calculation similarly control shift and closing square bracket selects all the dependents direct or indirect on that particular worksheet so these are some of the shortcuts for quickly navigating across worksheets for example if i am in this calculation now you can note that i actually want to go to this particular range here i'll use control and open bracket and it points me out quickly to that range i want to check where is historical i21 coming from I use control and open bracket and it takes me directly to historical sheet. Now you can note that there is a hard coded number here. So control open bracket does not work because this is the last source cell in my calculation. So that's it. That will allow you to quickly navigate across models. In addition to this, you can also use the arrows for your understanding so let's say if you are here and you want to find out where are these numbers coming from the arrows are in formulas and trace precedents and now you can note that i have got a link to where the numbers are coming from these are blue arrows they turn red when there is an error in one of these so for example if there is an error in one of these you can note that the arrow turns red i am undoing the error so the shortcut for this will be alt m and p and now you can note that i have got arrows to the precedent cells if i want to find out where this number is coming from i am again using alt m p and you can note that I have got these numbers from here alt m p and it keeps on pointing me to the last precedent cells alt m p and now you can note that it will guide me even to the original cells and like that I can trace the source or origination of a particular calculation like this i can also check whether there are any cells dependent on the cell so that points me to the next dependent cell so alt m d will quickly drive me and point me to the next dependent cells you can note that there are some cells on other sheets which are dependent on this cell so accordingly alt mp and alt md are the shortcuts for tracing precedents and tracing dependents to remove all the arrows you need to press alt maa which is for removing all the arrows 
so these are the shortcuts which are very useful for tracing and auditing whenever you are checking the models or calculations